Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now we have successfully completed the loading of the nodes and all those things we have completed it. If I try to refresh this page, we are able to show this uh, refresh bar. And here we are showing no nodes and also the refresh thing, right? The loading symbol also we are showing at the same time. So let's add that condition also. Yeah, here if I try to refresh, here we are able to see and no nodes added also we are trying to see. And we can add a condition that node store dot nodes loaded. So if the nodes is loaded, then also the nodes is not there means then you need to show this one. Now let's see the output. If I refresh this page, now here we are able to see only the nodes, only the loading symbol. Okay. So that's it. So we are show this is the condition which we need to keep. Keep in order to not show this node set. When only the nodes is not there, then only this will be shown. When the nodes is loading also, it will not show. So for example, let's say that if you are not having this delete option is there means then you are able to see here. And if I try to refresh this page, first it is trying to get it from the nodes. If it is not present, it is showing this one. Fine. Now let's go to the, now first of all, we have completed all those things. Now what we need to do is it's time for us to design the login authentication. For this one, what I will try to do is, and I am going here and I am creating a new page that is auth view. And here I am creating auth view dot view. So this is our auth page and template. And here we'll be having a template. And in this one, I will write auth page. Okay. So this is our template page. And for this one, we need to design the routing. So for this routing, we need to have, we need to go to the index.js file. And here I will be writing path, path slash auth and it should load the component auth view auth view and the name I will try to give it is the auth okay so these are the things now let's import this auth view and here auth view and this should be auth view that's it now let's try to go here to the auth and we'll see slash auth means so we are able to show the auth page. Now we need to design the uh, page for this one. So for designing this page, let's go to the Bulma. Here I am opening the Bulma website. So in this Bulma website, let's open get started. And for this one, I will be using the tabs thing. It will be present in the components. In the tabs, I will be using these tabs. So I am using this one. So let's take here. Let's copy this one and go to he in this page and here in the auth view. I will create something like div class is equal to auth form. Okay. And in this one, I can write it like this. Yeah. Now tabs is centered and these two things I can remove it. So I want to show this login page and another one is the register page. Fine. Let's see the output, how it will look like. If you try to see the output and login and registration. And now this one is dependent on the is active. So this is active. We need to make it as a constant. So not constant as a dynamic. So here I can write the script setup. And here I will have a variable constant register is equal to ref of false. First time it will be false. So now this class we make it as a dynamic and we'll take this one as an object. And is active. It is there when the register is there. Okay when it is not registered this one is login right when not registered we will be showing the same class i will copy this one and here i will use when register is there so this register will come fine let's go into this one here and when i am clicking on the login it is working the same thing right so what i need to do here let's go into this here anchor link and for this one at the rate click dot prevent is equal to register is equal to false. So I'll try to make it as a false. And here at the rate click dot prevent register is equal to true. That's it, right? So register is equal to true. Now, if you try to see the output, now if I click on the register, it is going to register login, login. So here it is able to move to the tabs, is able to switch. So now let's create the page. Now for this one, what we can do, let's go to the elements or let's go to the form. Okay, form, right? We are trying to design the form in general. And if you come down and here we are having name and email, let's copy this one. And if I go into here, 
and here what i will try to do so this is our uh, tab center this center thing is finished okay and here i will be using uh, div or otherwise i can paste it here oh sorry first we'll take the card first we'll take the card instead of having like this first we'll take the card so we will be having the components the card thing uh, let's take the card here i will take the simple lorem sim card yeah this one let's copy here and i will go into this one and i will paste it here yeah so this one is a card and auth and here um, what i can do so in this content or in the card content let's take one div class is equal to title i will give the title and here i will write the login let's try to check it whether we are able to see the output or not if you try to see the output here i'm able to see the login and here we are having login option right so let's make it as a small one so for that one what i will do is here i will take the style which is a scoped thing okay so style now here this is the thing so we can take for this one instead of having for this one i can remove and i can keep for this one auth form right it looks nice now for this style what i will do is dot auth form for this auth form i will give width of maximum width max width of 400 pixel if you try to see the output max width of 400 pixel so it is more somewhat small right we need to make it center in order to make it center what i can do here margin zero auto okay left and right we are making it as an auto yeah so login it is there we will let's try to make it as a center so for this one has hyphen text hyphen centered so we have made this one also a center now let's try to make this one also copy this uh, form uh, what i can say input elements and we'll try to do it and in the form in the general we will try to make here name and yeah we will try to take this name and email and we'll paste it in the content now if you try to make it if you try to paste it in the content you'll be able to see the name is not needed for us okay and here if you try to see email somewhat okay let's try to see whether we are able to see the email or not yeah we are able to see the email and if i go into this one and we need the same thing right let's copy and paste it at the bottom so this one is a password and here is also it was a password and here you will be able to see enter password okay and email address okay so this is the email address okay now if you try to see the output yeah here we are able to see password email and a password and we need to show small uh, buttons like submit now if you try to go into our bulma website and in the form group if you go form group you are able to see submit cancel like this right let's copy this one and here i will go into this one and here i will paste this submit and all those things and i can remove this can cancel thing i don't want this cancel and let's see how it will look like uh, yeah submit button we are able to see it if you want you can also make it as an easy fund danger uh, where it is that one easy fund primary right easy fund danger it should be something like uh, yeah submit button now if i try to enter something offloads will do it now this all should be in a form right so we'll try to make it in a form now for this one what i will do here i will create a form okay now here the entire thing should be closed up to here yeah this is a form so now we have successfully able to design the form. Now if I click on the register, register tab should open. If I click on the login, login tab should open. So in the next video, we will try to do this, uh, uh, this, this changes. So hope you understood about this designing of this auth form. And I will commit this code in a new branch. Video iPhone 102. Video iPhone 102. And commit this code, entire code. Login page design. And I am committing this code. We have added the router and all those things. Whoever may be having a doubts in this one, so they can go to my GitHub repository URL. So they can find the code and all those things reference here. 
so everything the code everything will be committed in this branch so if anybody is having doubts you can go into this one and now i have committed the entire code if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you